Did you hear that? Yeah. yeah. Going into Wayward Cemetery, the entry stone sets the feeling of sadness you get walking in. It reads, Beginning in 1894, this land was used by various government agencies as a center for wayward girls. The colonial-style cottages, service buildings, and fences are gone, but these 51 graves remain. These markers are a testimony that they are no longer wayward, but home with their creator. May God's peace be with their souls. I'm here at Wayward Girl Cemetery in Geneva, Illinois. Um, it's pretty crazy already. I just got here, been looking around. Headstones, as you can see, it says there's 51, but there's 57 here. It's rumored to have more unmarked graves here. Let's see what we can find. I'm here with Ghost Hunter Dan along with Expedition Entity to do a group investigation. So I'll be getting some EVPs. Um, so I wouldn't say it's paranormal. It, you know, it may just be my head playing tricks on me. But I was standing here by the baby graves. I was reading the, reading the dates. While Dan talks about his experience, an unexplained anomaly comes floating by him. Just started becoming very overwhelming, and I just had to get the hell out of here. So I'm and not you can saying. Imagine, that, just like you said, there's a headstone there that's yeah, maybe I don't one know years if you old. Yeah, it, but yeah, it says uh, John Albert, 1932-1933. So you know that, that old guy's only a year old. That one wasn't even a year old, Evelyn. It's only got one year on it. Yeah. This one only has one year on it. Yeah, I mean, you're... So do you think you can come and put your hand on that gravestone for me? And make that light go off? We start an EVP session with a device called the parabolic, used to amplify sound, in this case, voice phenomenon. Can you walk right up to me to the sound of my voice? Say something. We know a lot of you girls were very, very young, and what happened to you here is kind of unforgivable. Would you like to talk to us about that? How did the officers here at the Wayward Home treat you? See my hand, bump this light so that we know you want to talk to her. Don't be afraid, you can talk to me. You want me to come closer? Now over the parabolic, very lightly, it almost heard, it sounded like something like yeah. Is that you saying yes? Yeah? If you stand, you can just pass that orange light there. It's not going to hurt you. You won't hurt you either.
I'm at the gravestone of Grace Watson, and there's a little stick that I have placed on top of that gravestone. I didn't do it to be disrespectful. I did it to see if you would knock it off of there. So this stick right here at the end of my finger, if any of you can see me, the stick right here. I want you to go ahead and push it off of there to show us you're here. Did you hear something down there? It didn't sound like a bird. It sounded like somebody like laughing. Did you hear it? It could have been, but it sounded like it was behind me. I mean, I can hear those birds. That's pretty. Di but that sounded like a woman kind of cackling at us, or cackling this way from behind me. There's three stones in here, guys, that we can't even see because we can't get to them. I mean, it's literally in a th thicket of. I don't know. It looks like it was put there deliberately, but. Yeah. Yeah, we yeah, we honestly can't tell cuz we can't get in there. So I maybe if we, Okay. I was thinking maybe if we walked over here to where we heard the cackling. Mm -hmm. I got that reported. Good. It was, it was rolling when that happened. That's that's a kid. Okay. That's got to be a kid over there. Okay. Whoever was over here laughing behind us, can you come up and tell us your name? Got a couple likes. Yeah, that's a little, that's kids down the way. <laughs> We are in a neighborhood, guys, so there, do, there are kids that live here. And we have seen the yard toys, so we do know that they are kids here. But we're wanting to talk to whoever was cackling in the woods here. I think. I think. I'm not quite sure. But it looks like it's kind of roping up that tree like it does. No, it just got really, really quiet around here. Yeah, it did. You can tell the difference from when we were recording before and now when we're recording. And I got my video running. And it's important to say, guys, that what Maggie's talking about, if you look at any of our other videos or when Maggie puts this video out and Expedition Entity puts this video out, when we first got here, the birds were going nuts. And we can still hear a few of them, but it's really calmed down. I mean, this forest preserve is so big, that could be a coyote howling. I, I mean... Yeah. But when we were there, I, it was a distinct cackle, and it came from behind us. Yeah, I was pointing this way. And that's one of the reports. Really? Is that, that the lady cackles. Now, somebody's moving through there.
50. I know the last people that were here when we walked out why we were why we were still here. Mm -hmm. Crazy. Yeah, that's it. You hearing anything? No, not now. I mean, there, the wind is completely calm. I mean, I'm pointing at the trees, there's not even a breeze. It's about as calm as you can possibly be right now, other than the few birds chirping. Do you hear something? Yeah. Uh, well, I'll walk over and check it out. We're going to walk over to where the path is and check it out. Maggie said she thought she heard footsteps, which when we got here, there were people walking up and down. And I kind of want to get some footage of this anyway, so I'm going to walk out there and take a look. Okay, that's the path down to the creek. Looks like somebody's compost pile. Is there anybody here? And there's pathways all over in here, guys. Did you hear anything? I thought it, I, I, literally what I heard was a person. Yeah, there's, there's nobody down here that I can see. Um, but when I panned around to, I said, there's somebody's compost pile. And as I, I had the camera here and I looked back, and it looked like something hopping around in the trees, but that could have been a big bird. I mean, I mean, like that bird just went there. It looked like a bigger bird, but I mean, there's, we're not far from the Fox Rivers right over there, so there could be hawks down in here. I mean, then we're now getting to that part of day to where all the shadows are going to start playing. Yeah. But as far as you hearing footsteps, right? Did you hear that? <laughs> I heard that. Okay. Yes. So Maggie's not hallucinating. I'm hearing it too. I'm going to follow this pathway. Yeah. I'm going to follow this pathway. Mostly because I want to make sure there's nobody out here messing with us. Guys, I'm going to walk right up over this ridge and just see if there's anybody over there. Okay, there's the cemetery right there. So we're now on the other side. And this ridge goes down quite a ways. There ain't nobody out here, guys. And Maggie and I distinctly heard footsteps. And they weren't walking through softly. I mean, they were tromping through here, from what I could hear. And the only animals I've seen here are birds. Guys, there's nothing over there but a ridge that goes, and there's nobody there. No, I did too.
last standing structure other than the cemetery stones. The, this, for, this is all part of the forest preserve past that fence line, mm -hmm. from what I've been told. Um, this forest preserve runs for ever. And, and you said they see a girl in white? They see a little girl in a white dress. They hear screams, they hear laughs. This is really slick. As we walk through the last standing structure of the Wayward Girls facility, we feel the overwhelming presence of sadness. Our investigation was definitely made up of experience without scientific measure, which is uncomparable for most. It seems as though Wayward gives everyone a different memory when visited, but one thing is consistent. The feeling that you hope this stone will one day be right, and their souls will one day find peace.